Good evening, my fellow affected psychopaths. Today, I'll be injecting you with the insanity that is my voice. Let's get started. So after days and nights spent working on this gun, my fellow infected psychopaths, I have come to conclusion that this gun doesn't work. Wait. Who said that? Okay. Why are you naked? Turn me a reference. Ah. So, you were telling me to wait? Ah, yes. I perfected the shotgun mechanism that you were trying to make. Take a look see. Ooh, me likey. But, is there a weapon to suit my psychotic needs? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Cue the montage! This, my fellow infected psychopaths, is a shotgun that I like to call Beast Pump. A monster of a pump action shotgun. <laughs> this weapon went through many designs and rough drafts until you got the final product you see before you. You see, despite my ability to make flyweed machine guns, semi automatic handguns, and the occasional rifle, shell ejection still remained a mystery to me. Don't get me wrong, I made single shot guns that technically use this shell ejection, but they all were single shot, and I wanted to find multiple shells, specifically a tubular internal magazine mechanism, like you see in other LEGO gunsmithing YouTubers. Now, in the past, I did attempt to make a shotgun with a shell ejection mechanism, but I fell short in trying to make the damn thing work. Long story short, the thing kept jamming. On plus side, it did enable me to make the precursor to the modern LEGO shotgun shells. <sighs> so, after going through many, 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 many failing designs, I went back to the basics. I sat my psychotic ass down with a sketchbook in hand and started to draw up some shotgun designs. And you know what? It worked! I think it helps drawing for me is very therapeutic in my opinion. It really helps get the creative juice and flowing in the old noggin. This is what I end up with at the start of the official design. When I was building I began to flesh out more of the details of the weapon. It looks complicated, but this is why I have animations on this channel to help you better understand. How it works is very simple. A rubber band is attached to a feeding plunger. This same rubber band is looped around a pulley wheel that's also attached to the bottom back end of the tubular magazine. This pulley wheel is actually pretty crucial when feeding the shells into the fire mechanism. You see, there's enough tension force to move the shells along, but not too much tension to cause the gun to jam up when being pumped. The shells are loaded through a doorway of the pump into the magazine. When the shells are getting fed, they will get stopped by a small blockage thanks to this Technic piece that you see before you. When the trigger is pulled, it will also trigger the shells firing the gun. 
If you guys want to know how the shells work, I posted a video of the overview of the mechanism, so definitely check it out if you haven't seen it already. The pump itself has almost two separate parts, the actual pump and the shell ejection lever. The shell ejection lever is pretty self-explanatory. As the name implies, it's a lever that ejects the shells from the pump door. What makes this lever so unique is that it has a beam attached to it. This same beam has two small springs glued to the beam, to the actual pump. When the pump is pulled back, the springs will compress when to eject the spent shell. However, it can't due to the pump door not being moved back enough where the shell can be cleared to eject out. When the pump door is all the way back, it will no longer be blocking the side of the shell, causing the shell ejection lever to flick the spent shell out. The beam that's attached to the shell ejection lever has plates attached to the bottom of it. The left side back end of the pump is built in a way so when I push the pump forward, it will push on the same plates of the beam, resetting the lever back into its original position. Since the shell ejection lever is no longer blocking the rest of these shells, they are able to move forward, allowing the new shell to be fed, ready to be fired again. Another feature I added was a retractable stock. My fellow infected psychopath, this is probably my most advanced weapon I ever made. Just think, this opens so many possibilities in the future when it comes to LEGO gunsmithing. My only issue is that this weapon is massive. As the name suggests, this thing's a beast. So definitely next shotgun, I'm definitely gonna make it smaller. And hopefully hold more shells, considering the beast mode only holds 4 shells. But that's all the time we have today for this class of arsenal. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also, check out my art videos. Until next time, see ya later, you psychopath. Like a narcissist.